if you guys are new here my name is kate and if you're not welcome back welcome to another video welcome to another vlog so yeah if you guys are new here definitely make sure you go ahead and subscribe because i post tons of lifestyle and work from home content so if you guys like that kind of stuff then you'll obviously like this channel so yeah welcome to it so uh yeah i feel like i haven't vlogged in a little bit i kind of vlogged my honeymoon trip for you guys it was really just like a montage of like some of our t one of the days we did in mykonos and i'm just going to be putting a voiceover it and yeah i really just didn't want to vlog we we're on honeymoon obviously we had an amazing time but oh my gosh am i so happy to be back so yeah if you guys haven't seen the ring this is the ring so i have my engagement ring and then my wedding band now so officially a married woman and you guys will notice that my name is no longer kate ramsey on youtube and instagram it's now kate ladner and then obviously on instagram it's underscore kate ladner so yeah, exciting things. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, today is Monday. We have not been home in literally a month. We left September 11th, today is October 11th. And we got back late last night. So it's literally been an entire month. It was so good to come home. We obviously had an amazing time. We had an amazing wedding. Like it literally was the most perfect thing ever. I haven't seen any photos or any of the videos from it yet just because it apparently takes three months for us to get our photos back and four months for our video. I don't know if that's regular. Um, but yeah, it took a really long time, which kind of sucks. So I guess it'll be good um, when we do see it. It'll be like, oh, you know, nice to see it and see everything. But haven't seen anything of that yet. But yeah, it feels really good to be home. We obviously had an amazing time in Santorini and Mykonos, but boy, was it expensive. So expensive. Europe is crazy expensive. And obviously just like Mykonos especially was even more expensive than Santorini. But I'm very happy to be home. I'm happy to be getting back into a routine. This morning I woke up at around like 5.50. Um, I think just because of the time difference, Greece is like seven hours ahead. And then also I'm pretty happy we had like a decent sleep. I slept I think from like 10 till like 5.50. Um, but we had like a crazy travel weekend. It was like a 48 hour like whole ordeal to get back. We had to go take like a ferry from Mykonos to Santorini, then a plane from Santorini to London, then London we had to stay one night there and then fly out the next day. And that was like a nine hour flight back to Florida. So it's just like this whole big ordeal. And yeah, it feels good to be home. Today I'm really just gonna be getting my life back on track. We went and returned the rental car back to the airport. And today I'm definitely need to do a lot of groceries. We have nothing in the fridge besides like oat milk and creamer. So I made myself a coffee. We have washing going on, as you can probably hear in the background, doing a ton of washing. I'm already doing my second load for the day. And yeah, then I'm going to start my work day. I'm assuming I'm going to have a ton of emails because it's been two weeks since I've been online. So today is probably just going to be a catch up day for me. I'm probably going to have to book some time with my manager and just like figure out what I am working on. So that'll be a fun time. And then, yeah, like I said, we'll probably go grocery shopping and then I'm hoping I can get a workout in. Um, so yeah, that's kind of going to be my day today. But yeah, welcome, welcome to this week in my life. It's been forever since I've done a week in my life. So I'm really excited to bring you along this work week. I think it's going to be a really fun one, just getting back into a routine and yeah, just being back in Florida. So I'm happy to be back here. So yeah, I've been talking for four minutes now. I'm going to go and get ready for the day, brush my teeth and start my work day. And I'll talk to you guys probably later in the day. done I had a very good productive work day I had a meeting with my boss and yeah I just really got a whole bunch of new work to do which is kind of exciting so it gave me a pretty good day I'd say I've got a lot to work on but at least I'll be busy this week so that's good but we just got home we did a little Trader Joe's haul so we got all these bags of groceries I'm not going to show you what we got because it's just like you guys have seen it so many times, but we did get some beautiful flowers. I got these roses. I thought they were kind of fallish, so I'm gonna sort those out in a second. And then we got something. I don't know where it is. Did you already put it in the freezer? Oh, perfect. 
so the one thing that I did want to show you guys was we got the butternut squash mac and cheese bites. I'm excited to see how these are. We're going to try and put them in the air fryer sometime this week. So I hope they're good. It was one of the full things that I really wanted to try. I originally wanted the pumpkin mac and cheese, just like the regular mac and cheese, but apparently they're all out and like done for the season with that. So because I've been away for a whole month, I missed out. And the guy was like, well, on the good side, it's only 320 days till you can get it next year. So I was like, I guess. <laughs> so we're trying these instead. I'm sure they'll be good anyway. So anyway, I'm gonna unpack the groceries, deal with the flowers, and I'll talk to you guys later. sorts of good things so that looks amazing and we cooked the sweet potatoes and the zucchini in our new air fryer so this is the first time we've used it Justin made himself a steak and added that to this bowl because he obviously doesn't like all just veggies but yeah I'll let you guys know how um, yeah how we like this but this is gonna be apparently it's a game changer so we're excited to use it if you guys have any good uh, recipes that you use with an air fryer let me know but yeah we're just trying it out for the first time tonight and then I just did a little yoga session I've had a lot of pain in my shoulder and neck for about like three days now so I've been trying to do stretching it's still not helping I did a yoga session it still is sore so I might need to go and like see someone about that like get a massage done or go and see I don't know a doctor or something I don't know it's honestly like pretty sore I can't lift my arm up very high like now that I've stretched I can lift it up to here but it's really hard to lift it up even higher so I'm in a lot of pain so fun things I think it's all the travel um but we're gonna oh we're watching squid games okay okay so we're gonna start squid games and eat our dinner <laughs> Good morning everyone, happy Tuesday. So I had another early morning today. I woke up at 5.30, it's just that jet lag. So, I mean, obviously I'm used to being seven hours ahead, but I'm not complaining. I had such a nice, slow, relaxing morning, just sipping my coffee, watching the news, just watching some TV, and honestly just really relaxing. And I feel like that's what you need to do to start your day, it was perfect. And yeah, my shoulder's feeling a little better today. I realized we had some like muscle cream, so I'm gonna keep applying that throughout the day but let me show you my little outfit of the day for working from home so i'm just wearing this little crop top from zara you guys have definitely seen me wear this before and then i'm wearing my new favorite shorts these are from revolve they're the goldie uh shorts and i'll have them linked below they're literally my favorite short they're so comfortable i wore them so much on honeymoon and i just love them and yeah I think I got them one size up so they'd be a little like baggy and comfortable so I did that and then yeah I'm having a kind of later breakfast considering how early I've gotten up but this is really what I was craving today. I have cut up apple, some Greek yogurt, honey and then this like high fiber cereal. So this is going to be like my little bowl of goodness to start the day. And then I'm going to get started with work in a second. Today I have just four meetings, nothing crazy. And then my main focus is going to be finishing up our newsletter and sending that out. And then also working on some new campaign documents for our next campaign. So it's going to be like my main focus of today. So I'm going to eat my breakfast, go through my emails, social media, all that good stuff.
super tired. I think it's just the fact that I've been waking up really early, you know, around like 5.30. And then obviously I had an early morning yesterday and then obviously just getting back into a routine. I think it's a little bit hard. I honestly, it feels good being back to work. Like I feel in a good creative mindset having the two weeks off, but I'm honestly still, you know, just like getting used to having to work again after like spending my days sitting at a coffee shop for an hour in Mykonos and just like having no schedule, you know, so that's kind of been a tough thing to do but I'm pushing through I need to try and edit a video I wanted it to be live for today but I didn't edit it at all yesterday I, was, I just really wanted to have a relaxing night at home as like our first real night at home so I'm gonna try and edit that today I need to do like a voiceover it's our honeymoon vlog so I'm gonna try to do like a voiceover for it and then just edit whatever footage I have and then maybe I might have to record like an outro for it. I'm not quite sure. I'm going to have to sit down and figure that out. But I did want to share with you guys something. I just bought my first ever set from Set Active. I'm sure you guys have heard of Set Active before. Um, but my friend Jenna has a ton of sets from them. And they always look so good on her. So I wanted to get a set for myself. And so I was kind of like unsure about which one to do. So if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw my little poll about like, oh, which colors should I choose? But I ended up getting the brown one. So I ended up getting this brown set in the color Espresso. I got the ribbed one shoulder bra. I think it's so cute. And then the biker shorts to go with it. So I think that's going to be such a cute little set. It's brown, so I feel like I can use it for just like active wear. But then also I want to be able to use it with like just athleisure. So pair it with my white sneakers, maybe like a flannel for fall or a blazer or something just to dress it up. But I think that's going to be really cute. And then I also was able to use a coupon code, so I'm not sure if... It'll still be, if you can still use this coupon code, but I definitely recommend it because I saved $30, which is amazing. So it was Stormlux, as you can see here. So if you guys want to get something from them, see if that still works because that was a great little coupon code. So I'm excited. And obviously when I get it, I'll do like a little unboxing and, you know, hopefully it's good and the sizing's all good. But yeah, I'm honestly going to try and edit that video and then tonight I am very excited to do something. I'm going to be like unpacking our registry gifts and just putting them all away and just really organizing the kitchen. We mostly got stuff for the kitchen, but I'm just really excited to have like new cutlery and then have new like plates and dishes and stuff like that. So I've been waiting for that forever because obviously we got a couple things, but I didn't want to unbox them until after we had gotten married. So now I'm excited to like organize the kitchen and that's going to be my task for tonight. So I'm excited, <laughs> honestly. And so yeah, anyway, I'm going to edit that video and then I'll catch up with you guys when it's time to organize the kitchen. So here's a little overview of some of the new items that we're going to have in the kitchen. I'm so excited about it. I'll try and link some of these things because honestly, I don't know, personally I just think this stuff is so beautiful. Like I'm so excited for these nice plates. They have this like really nice lip and then we have the salad plate version of it and then the bowls which are all really nice and stackable. We've got these dinner plates. They're like a little bit fancier and I'm really excited for that as well. We have some new cutlery. I'm really excited for these. It's a huge upgrade. This is gonna be the first bit of cutlery that we actually own. Ignore Justin, he's packing away the old cutlery right now. Obviously we got an air fryer, we got champagne glasses. These I'm gonna keep until Christmas because <laughs> obviously we're probably not gonna have champagne till Christmas, but I'm gonna spend tonight kind of just organizing all the stuff and putting it into the cupboards. So that's going to be my task tonight. up some 
leftover spaghetti and meatballs that we had from last night and I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm using the new bowl and the new cutlery. I love it. I obviously use it this morning for breakfast but it's so nice having like really good quality I don't know like forks and knives like you can definitely tell the difference and then obviously like my new bowl so I just wanted to let you know I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm obsessed with the stuff from Crate and Barrel. It's really not that expensive either. Um, I always assumed Crate and Barrel was more expensive, but honestly, like their cutlery, or maybe not their cutlery, but at least um, just their like plates and bowls are honestly very affordable and they just feel super good quality, very heavy. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, but day's going well. I had a ton of meetings this morning, so I didn't really vlog at all. Now my day is kind of freed up to just really get work done. And yeah, that's how the day is going. morning everyone can we just take a second to please appreciate these flowers from trader joe's they're so pretty they're literally the only fall color um we will be getting in florida so this is about as fall as it's gonna get but i just think they're so so pretty i love them especially against all the white in this room so hi good morning everyone i am dressed and ready for the day it is thursday i have my hair in like a little braid thing today this is one of my favorite ways to do my hair i think it's just nice when it's a little like frizzy and a little much after like being washed to just kind of put it in a braid i need to like fan it out a little more so it's a little fuller but i think it's just a fun like cute little hairstyle to do i did it in greece a couple times because it was just so windy there so it was kind of like the perfect hairstyle for that but yeah good morning i am in a full princess polly outfit so i can show you guys i'm just in these baggy shorts from them they're like paper bag style and then this brown tank top which is one of my favorite things to wear ever and then i'm obviously wearing all my orate jewelry not sponsored at all i just truly love their jewelry and i honestly wear them every day including when i was in greece but i'm pretty much in all orate jewelry as normal so yeah i'm about to start the work day in a little bit today is going to be kind of a busy day not in terms of work i actually don't have any meetings today which is kind of nice i have training because it's thursdays and i have like a lot of other work to do but i actually don't have any meetings but after work is when the busy stuff comes so i'm gonna try and film a video it's gonna be like a q a and like a uh, recap of the wedding because i feel like i haven't spoken about it much and obviously like i don't have any photos or videos yet from it so i haven't really been able to share really anything about it so i wanted to do like a q a so i asked you guys on instagram and i received so many questions so i'm gonna have to go through that today and hopefully try and film it so i can edit it and have it up for you guys tomorrow which is friday and then and then other than that i'm actually getting a haircut today i have been waiting to cut my hair for literally so long like ever since i don't know months months and months ago i've obviously kept my hair long for the wedding but I always said the minute that I'm done with the wedding, I'm going to cut my hair. I always like to do a big chop, like at least once a year, I'd say, because I don't know about you guys, but I get really bored of my hair, especially because I don't dye it. I'm, <laughs> I'm dying to dye my hair, but I know it's really expensive um, to keep up with and I don't want to damage my hair. So I think for now, I'm just going to get, get a big chop and hopefully that will help. But if not, then maybe towards the end of the year, I might consider dyeing it. But I don't know, I don't want to ruin my hair. So. But I'm going to do a big chop. So I'm going to take a lot of hair off. I think like my hair is normally like around here-ish, I think, right now when it's down. And I think I'm going to get it around here. So quite a big chop. And then I think I'm going to bring back my curtain bangs because I haven't had that in a couple months. So I'm going to do that. And I'm really excited for that. So that's another thing after work today. And then also we have our young adult group because it's Thursday. So we go to like a non-denominational church. And then every Thursday, there's a group for people who are like 18 to 30. And it's like all of us get together and connect. We haven't seen everyone since we got married. So that's going to be really exciting to see everyone. So obviously I'm excited. 
So yeah, I'm probably going to go start the work day. I'll probably do a little bit of a work montage. I feel like I didn't really vlog at all yesterday, but there wasn't much to do. Like I just had a bunch of meetings in the morning and then I worked in the afternoon. And then after work, we went to walk to the beach and that was like kind of our day. We had like an early dinner, watched TV. We watched the new season of um, The Morning Show on Apple TV. So it's kind of what we did. It wasn't anything like super exciting that I could vlog anyway, but, but yeah, we'll see what kind of footage we get today. But I obviously will show you guys when I get my hair cut and I'm so excited for that. Okay guys, so I uh, did a thing. I didn't get to show you my hair before, but I mean, you guys have seen this entire vlog, but I'm gonna show you my hair in a second. It's definitely a big change, so I'm just letting you know, but I'm really happy with it and I wanted to just do something so different. So yeah, let me know how you like it. Okay, you guys are literally not ready for this. Okay, <laughs> so I literally got curtain pangs and look how short my hair is. It's so short, like literally. Look at that. It's little baby hairs. It's so different and like I told you guys, also I'm so sorry, I'm so hot in the car. Um, but yeah, I just finished up and like drove home because I live like so close to the salon. But the owner, um, I booked an appointment with her. I loved her. She was so nice and she was like, oh, like I love this. Like it looks so good on you. And I was like, oh, thank you. Like I just wanted to do something different. So yeah, we took so much hair off and she was like, I can't believe how thick your hair is. She was like, I thought you had thin hair because my hair was just so long and grown out. It was all thin at the ends. But yeah, I did something really different. I'm going to send a photo to my mom in a sec, but I think she's going to like it because she likes when I cut my hair short. But I'm about to go inside and show Justin. I think I want to vlog his reaction. Uh, he hates being on camera, so he's not going to be like a fan of it because he doesn't like being on camera. But I want to film his reaction because like this is a big cut, but I love it. And then she styled it and it looks so cute, but I need to go inside because I'm sweating. But I, I just feel like I needed this change in my life and I feel like it's perfect for fall. And I'm just, I'm happy I needed this and it's going to grow out. And yeah, that's all I have to say, but let me know how you like it. I feel like I just needed this change and I think everyone's going to be like so shocked. They're going to be like, oh my gosh, because I haven't done this to my hair in forever. I don't think I've actually been this short since I've been on YouTube. Um, yeah, I really don't think so, but I really like it and that's what matters. Okay, give me a sec. I just want to get your reaction because I did something. I don't think you're ready. Happy Friday. I cannot literally tell you how happy I am that it is Friday. This week has just kind of been kind of a, not like a crazy week, but it's just been kind of hard, like I guess adjusting back into a routine. Like this morning I woke up and like went, <laughs> I woke up right at my alarm at 7 a.m. and just felt so tired. I mean, we had like our young adult group last night, so I don't know if that was it, like getting home a little later, but honestly, just like I don't know, it was a little bit of a tough work day. I didn't vlog at all just because I was editing the video yesterday and I realized it was already had 25 minutes. I mean, it is a work vlog. I don't like my videos to be like, I think really past 30 minutes, even though I know you guys kind of like the longer vlog styles. But yeah, anyway, so work was fine. Nothing really to report on, just 
yeah, happy that honestly it's now the weekend. We're gonna spend pretty much this weekend relaxing. We're gonna be watching You because if you guys um, have like a Netflix subscription, that show You is finally coming out again. It was supposed to come out like last December and now it's finally coming out. And so I'm so excited for that. Jay and I always binge it. So I know tonight we're gonna watch it and then probably finish it tomorrow to be honest. And then Sunday's my birthday, which is gonna be really fun. I'm turning 24, so I probably am gonna vlog that. I don't really know what we're doing, because um, that's like Jay's thing. <laughs> he likes to like surprise me with things, so I'll probably end up vlogging it and do like a little birthday vlog. Just finished a little Pilates workout. I really wanna get back into these. I used to love doing them. I always like flip-flop on fitness. I'm always like really into it, and I'll be really into like walking on the treadmill or doing Pilates or running or something and then I get bored and I have to switch it up so I don't know if anyone else feels that way but I like constantly have to do that so now I'm in the mood to like get back into Pilates so that's what I'm going to be doing so I did like a 30 minute like full body Pilates session and it just felt really good to do so I'm happy I did that and I guess it's just a good way to start off the weekend which is nice and I'll try and probably work out tomorrow as well but yeah i kind of wanted to talk to you guys about something i was talking to justin about it yesterday and then in general like i've just been thinking about it a lot towards the end of our honeymoon and then also a lot i'd say this week and it's kind of i don't know if anyone else feels this way but i constantly feel like at least me but i think a lot of people feel this way is that that we're always kind of like living in the future i personally was always like looking forward to our wedding and our honeymoon and yeah, and then it came to the honeymoon and we were there. And then towards the end of it, I started to look forward to getting back to like coming home to Florida and being back in a routine. And then, you know, now that I'm back, it's like, oh, I'm looking forward to the next big thing. It's like, there's always like the next big thing, if that really makes sense. So like, what's next? What's our next vacation? Or, you know, something like that. So I don't know if that makes sense, but let me know if you guys feel that way too. I'm going to try and push myself to really just focus on being in the present and not always thinking about I'm doing this tomorrow, I'm doing this, or I can't wait for next week because of blah blah blah, or I can't wait for the weekends, you know? So like being happy with, you know, what is going on in your current day and just like focusing on that. I don't know. I think I really struggle with that. So if you have any tips for me, like just let me know seriously because I'm going to try to do it, but I feel like it's really hard to do if you're always in that mindset. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that because it's been on my mind a lot lately and I, I guess I just haven't had a chance to really talk to you guys about it on camera. So I just wanted to bring that up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little week in my life. Uh, let me know if you guys like work vlogs better or more lifestyle vlogs. I feel like it's kind of hard to balance. Like I tried to make this week in my life not so focused on work. But let me know what you prefer or let me know if you just like a balance. So sometimes it being a lifestyle vlog, sometimes it being a work vlog. Because sometimes I feel like I've been more focused on work vlogs recently. But I personally come to YouTube to kind of like escape. And that's I guess what I want this channel to be is something for you to like relax, turn your brain off kind of thing and just relax. Because I think those are the channels that I like the most. And maybe not everyone likes to be reminded of work and busy days. But I don't know, just let me know um what you guys really like because ultimately I want to make videos that you guys enjoy and obviously ones that I enjoy too but yeah I think that's everything I really wanted to discuss with you guys but I hope you like this little week in my life if you did of course subscribe and like the video and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys all in my next video so until then see you soon Beautiful.